everybody, it's EJ from iDesign.com and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Sketch and Tune not only to apply line art and outlines to your entire scene in Cinema 4D, but actually how you can just isolate individual objects in your Cinema 4D composition. So your typical really sexy shiny 3D objects with reflective materials and really nice lighting and applying uh, outlines to specific objects in your scenes. So you can see on my screen right here that what I did is have this typical, uh, you know, Cinema 4D ish, you know, just typical 3D scene where you have nice lighting and 3D stuff, but then you're applying this nice uh, outline to this diamond part right here. So I isolated just this diamond and applied Sketch and Tune lines to it to create this nice outline and it's in my animation. It applies this really nice stylized kind of animation look that is really cool. And I'm, today what I'm going to be doing is going over ways that you probably added outlines to individual objects in your scene before. Uh, and kind of discuss the downsides of each of those two uh, options that I used to use in the past, uh, and then just kind of go over what makes Sketch and Tune so awesome, and not just uh, for just 2D stuff, but to apply outlines uh, in general in your full-blown 3D uh, projects. So let's just jump right into the project here. All right, so here we have our Cinema 4D composition, and we have a diamond, right here and then we have all these little rocks on the outside or pieces of coal so like there's a diamond in the middle and then there's coal outside and cool little concept but what I want to do is get sketch and tune lines or outlines on just the diamond itself to add a little bit of cool kind of stylized look to that diamond so how we can do this is of course using sketch and tune and a lot of people might think well you can do a lot of other alternatives to sketch and tune to get outlines on uh, your object here. So this diamond object right here is what I'm talking about. And it's just a very simple piece of geometry here. And what you might think of doing and what what I've done in the past before I got into sketch and tune is you can go in and get an atom array and apply that to the diamond here. And what that'll do if I turn off some of my other objects in my scene is that'll actually give you, let me put a material on there. What this will do is give you this atom array applied to all of your edges and you can kind of make the cylinder radius and sphere radius the same size and there you got your outline. But the thing is is that number one you're adding geometry to your scene and slowing it down so if you have a way more complex object you want to put outlines on that's going to slow down your scene and again if this is if you have more pieces to your object and again this is a very simple piece of geometry but if it's way more complex you might have a rougher time trying to get the look that you want because sure I want all the edges on my diamond here but what if you just wanted this little triangle right here well then you'd have to bust out that piece and just apply uh, a second uh, uh, atom array or if you wanted to have two different kind of widths you'd have to make a duplicate of that object and it starts getting complicated pretty fast so I, I mean if you have no other way go for it uh, and then the, another way is to or another alternative is to get a uh, let's see cell renderer here and that creates outlines and edges but again you can't control the thickness of those edges or anything like that so that those two alternatives aren't very satisfactory when it comes to really having full control over how you want your lines to be applied to your objects and then even applying different thicknesses of lines so to be able to get what we want here let me turn on back on all my stuff here and go to interactive render region and let me remove this crappy gray material and get that shiny reflective material back uh, and the nice thing about this is too is that you know I have this really nice shiny material and then applying outlines or line art to it, it like I said we're getting this really nice stylized look so how we can do this with sketch and tune it's not just you can't you can apply sketch and tune globally throughout your entire scene and apply it to every object, but you can also isolate specific objects to apply just sketch and tune lines to. So let me go and get sketch and tune here. And you'll see that once I apply this 
to my render settings here, it applies it to everything. So immediately what I have to do is go into shading and it turns my background color black and we can just turn that off. And I'm also going to go to object here and turn off the shading there as well. So we can actually just get the materials I applied to all of my objects back. So you'll see right away, we have this really cool black outline that actually looks pretty dang cool. And that is because when we apply sketch into it, it automatically creates this sketch material to our object. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to strokes and enable strokes and we'll turn filter strokes off because we don't want to filter out any small strokes or anything like that. And we'll go to thickness and we can actually adjust the thickness of our strokes here. So what I want to do is you can see that it's applying strokes to all of my objects and you'll see this clear as day if I change the color of my stroke to white and that looks really messy right there. So what I'm going to do is I think I think I can get out of this material editor for the sketch material uh, so far and what I'm going to do is to isolate this to the sketch material to be just applied to a single object. The first thing I need to do is go into my sketch and tune and when you apply sketch and tune to your render settings what it's going to do is by default get this default visible sketch material that it creates right down here when you apply it and that is just the default and it's applied to everything in your scene. So to actually get rid of that all you gotta do is click this little button over here and just hit clear. Now what that's gonna do is you're gonna start from scratch and now you can actually apply materials sketch style materials to individual objects and apply those sketch materials to those actual objects so it acts exactly like a material, just a texture material. So what I'm going to do is drag and drop this sketch material onto my diamond and you'll see that just by default uh, with the folds, creases, and border enabled we have really nice outlines on our geometry. So that's really cool and a good way to, a really nice way to isolate and apply lines to just a single object. But what if you wanted to have way more control and you wanted to apply two different line types? <clears throat> so say you wanted to have two different thicknesses of materials applied to your little diamond here, or your object. So you want to have a very thick overall outline and then smaller little edges here. So we can easily do that. Uh, what I'm going to do first is go into my sketch material here and I'll just rename this outline. So this will be a really thick outline stroke and I'll just bring this up to about f uh, five and we'll go to our sketch tag here and what I'm going to do is turn off folds, creases, and border and just turn on outline. So this is just going to enable the outline stroke of our entire object here. So you can see we have this really nice thick stroke on the outline of our object. Now what I can do is duplicate this outline material and what I can do is name this edges. And what I'm gonna do with this is, let me close this out really quick, I'm gonna go and apply this onto the diamond here as well. So I have my original outline sketch style tag and my new sketch style tag that has the edges here. And you can see that I have folds, creases, and border enabled by default. And what I'm going to do is since that edges material is applied to that second sketch style tag, I can now isolate, or I can now just affect the edges that are applied or the lines that are applied by that second sketch style tag. So I can bring the thickness down to about one, and you can see that let's do two so you can see it a little bit better. And you can see that that applies a different thickness to those folds, creases, and borders. So what we did is we basically have two different st sketch style tags applying two different lines to two different parts of our geometry. So one that is the overall outline and then another one with the thinner lines that is just doing these little folds and creases of our geometry. So hopefully that makes sense. It's a really cool way to have full control over applying sketch, uh, sketch and tune lines to your actual objects and creating this really cool stylized look. So then what you can do is you're done now. All you got to do is just render this out. And what you can do is actually set up your multi-pass to actually have 
uh, post effects and all this other stuff going on so you can composite as usual and then with sketch and tune you can actually render out your multi-pass of your actual object here so you can actually split the line types and actually have uh, you can split up your outline into its own pass so this thick outline it could be its own pass and then you can have your folds creases and border as its own pass too so you can kind of you know, if you wanted to, in After Effects, change the color of your individual strokes or something like that, you can do that. So that is with the uh, multi-pass sketch and tune stuff enabled. And I believe uh, those are applied automatically when you have uh, post effects enabled, I believe. Uh, but yeah, that's how you can get your sketch and tune rendered as its own uh, separate pass there. So that is basically how you get sketch and tune lines uh, applied to objects in your scene that also has you know this really nice sh uh, shiny reflective material on it and you can mix it in and comp it in with your with your scene that has all your standard you know your typical cinema 4d uh, sexy shiny stuff going on and you apply this really nice stylized outline look to uh, an object that you want to really highlight in your scene and then you end up with something like this when you're done compositing and you have this really cool look kind of looks kind of like an 80s uh, kind of stylized animation here where everything in the 80s had neon outlines and stuff like that with uh, some sexy other 3d stuff going on so that's it for this tutorial hopefully you guys understood that if you have any questions as always don't hesitate to ask in the comments and uh, yeah, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next tutorial. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.